Finally a stream that us Americans can catch Pagman. Just what I needed, recovering from wisdom tooth surgery, much love. Every update this game gets better and better. Can't wait to see what's up next. It's hard. Hello, 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 hello. <clears throat> Coffee, I hope that you're feeling okay with your wisdom tooth. Can we send some love in chat to the wisdom tooth? That's a horrible surgery. Well, could have been a good surgery. <laughs> I mean, I hope it was a good surgery. You know what I mean? Still going. But uh, happy recovery, sir. Saturn server is prepped and ready. Hell Hashtag yeah. Never, ever leaving. Hell yeah, Thomas. Uh, <laughs> late night stream. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to go for long. Two hours is what we're going to do. Old school Hermitcraft stream, but not Hermitcraft. Vault Hunters instead. Uh... Because After what time do you call this? Late. <laughs> we wanna we wanna patch tomorrow, two p.m. Central European time. One more month till it's which baby don't Nine... worry, I will squeeze. N yeah, you squeeze, you squeeze, mama, you squeeze, sir. Um, thank you so much for the tier two, crazy. Uh, nine a.m. New York tomorrow we patch. So I needed to I need to test something because we got a new ability. There will be one more ability by tomorrow morning, uh, I think as well. <laughs> we're, we're, or one new specialization. We're doing something with Fireball. First I've of all, never the start of the stream live before. What a what treat, treat. Pag Cody. Less than three. First of all, Pider Mandy did some art update for Fireball and Fireball Volley. Look at this. I love it. I think that's a lot more fitting the graphics that we had. It's a very very tricky thing to do. So thank you, Pider Mandy, for your contribution. Um, I think it looks great. 
absolutely great. That's volley, that's fireball. We get one more specialization here in update 11, so that means we're going to we're going to stream tomorrow as well, European stream tomorrow. Uh, and then we're going to go curse forge by 2 p.m. is the aim. So when I say 2 p.m. Central European summertime, um, that's when we push to Curse Forge. Then of course, if Curse Forge, you know, are slow or whatever, yeah, then it's gonna be annoying. Um, anyway, we got a new ability. I'm gonna read through the final. <laughs> hopefully, hoping. Well, I, I, I've enjoyed doing update eleven this way. I hope you guys haven't been too annoyed that it hasn't been like released, released. Um, but I really felt like I wanted to get the ability power correct, and I've been reading a lot on Reddit, and there's this one guy on Reddit who, who, I don't know how many times he or she have, or, or them, have written the following statement. Since Nova got nerfed to the ground. <laughs> Do we have any Redditors that have seen that person? He says it in every post he writes. I don't think yeah, Nova has got nerfed into the ground. Hunters. I proved. Thank you so much for the game and for your great strands. Thank you, Captain. I proved that Nova is very viable. Just don't look at Reddit. It's actually super inspiring. It's super inspiring to see. Like, I know I, I know I joke a lot a lot about it, and some Reddits are just absolutely awful. But there's always something in everything. Um you can even claim that Nova got buffed. You could even say that Nova got buffed because it now doesn't require active holding your sword and you can do other stuff and things. Anyway. Uh, I really wanted to get things right. I really wanted to make sure that AP feels good. So, uh, without without switching my screens, because I don't think uh, I have it working in my Streamlabs at the moment, we added a new ability. Battle Cry is the new ability. It's the replacement for Execute. It comes in four levels. So four skill points to max it. And the main and issue we had with uh, with Execute was that it wasn't a skill expressed thing. You click a button, you click your attack, and everything dies. Uh, here's what we did. Battle Cry, the base ability. Drain the essence of mobs around you, gathering Battle Cry stacks, and release Whoa. an amount of stacks, giving you a bonus attack damage on your next direct hit. Okay. So you click, you suck uh, in stacks, depending that you get more stacks from heavier mobs like tanks and champions. You get a lot of stacks from them. And then pack. the stacks Thank are for active for... Care of yourself is <clears throat> Thank you, Hassa. Thank you. Not regular with the 20 gifted subs. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you so much. Oh, like Borderlands Anarchy stack, pro gaming. Yeah, it's, it's skill expressed. You need, to, you need to be a bit quick with this. Uh, the stacks last for 5 seconds. Every stack increases your attack damage by 20%. And on level 1, the max stacks that are used are 8. So 8 times 2 is the damage increase, 160%. On max level, it's 20 stacks. So you get, what, 400% extra damage? Um, on that next hit. So this is used to be able to kill champions. This is for physical damage. Then there is Spectral Strike, which does the exact same thing, but it adds your ability power to your next attack. The one stack fall off? Uh, no, uh, uh, max the, the stacks used per hit. So if you have 50 stacks, which is maxed. Oh, I've misconfigured this. God damn it. God damn it. I, I wrote an 8 here. Oops. That's why it was bugged when me and Hellfire was testing it. It should be, it should be like here. Uh, 50 stacks. So if you have 50 stacks and then you... Uh, you hit uh, a champion, you deal 400% increased damage on that hit, and then you have 30 stacks remaining. Does that make sense, Dylan? And then you can hit again. Confused but intrigued. I don't think it's too confusing when you think about it. But yeah, it, it's it's a skill-based thing. And I actually just realized something. I don't know if Hellfire is in chat. We just now, 10 minutes ago, decided on 5 seconds duration. That may actually be bad, because if you have to hit them up 3 times... Uh, if you're using an axe, I don't even think you can get three full attacks in five seconds unless you're super, super on par with your cooldown of your attack. Uh, if the stacks don't get used on hit, do all the stacks expire? Yes. Yeah. Any any uh, any excessive stacks expire. They fizzle. They fizzle. And then you'll have to drain more essence. So maybe the five Part seconds is actually is bad. Maybe it needs to be ten Let seconds. Um, thank you, Sol. Trust me, it's it's going to be good. It's going to be good. And then the last one is Lucky Strike. What this does is add Lucky Hit Chance per, per stack 
for a max of 20 stacks on max level. So that means that you have a guaranteed lucky hit with this. So you can also build this. You can also use this new ability to do things like mana steal, life steal, cleave, whatever you want. Really cool. Really cool. Eight would be better. It's a middle uh, ground. Ten, so ten seconds sounds good. Yeah, I think five seconds now when I think about it is a bit too long because, or a bit too short because of the fact that, uh, um, yeah, yeah, I, I think you're right. Because yeah, I don't think you can land three attacks in five seconds. I think that's going to be extremely annoying. Like it's going to be a feel bad. You're going to miss the last stacks every time. Why is it not called bonk? It's called bonk in code. Okay. Poe, listen, look, you guys that are here, you get the bonking. Okay. And in the patch notes, it says, added a new a bonk ability, <laughs> a bonk ability, battle cry. Um, anyway, it's really cool. Shout out to Joe for, for putting it together. Shout out to Hellfire for thinking up the ability. This is not my design, uh, but I love it. I love it. Anyway, so that's a note. Raise it to 8 or 10 seconds. Note that I gotta take. Um... Is Hellfire in chat? How do you get the stacks? You get it from, from pressing a button. When you press the button, you battle cry. Roar, but you don't actually. And then you drain the stacks and get them in your character. Uh, we, could, we, we, we could try it out. We can try it out. I just want to talk about the rest of the things. We slightly nerfed Heroes Landing. Because after last stream, I couldn't wait. I had to try out Heroes Landing. And it's very good. <laughs> So I nerfed it, I lowered the damage by 20% and raised the mana up uh, by plus two so that it's on par of Nova. Let you down, never gonna run around and Silence! You, never gonna make you cry, never gonna say goodbye, never Thank gonna you, tell a lie and hurt you. Thank you, Silent. Love you, man. Loving this mod pack. The whole family plays any chance we get. Ray, Thank hell you yeah. for making an amazing game. Thank you, Hashtag Ray. Hashtag never ever leaving. Thank you, sir. And Haley Bailey with the five gifted subs. Thank you so much, Haley. How are we? Uh, yeah, we slightly nerfed Heroes Landing. Uh, I don't think it's a big deal uh, because it was just bustedly good. And I also slightly nerfed Fireball. Like we discussed, I lowered the damage by 20%. So it now stops at 180% on 10 levels, uh, 8 levels. 20 plus uh, and I, I from the buffed it man. because I, I lowered That's the mana right cost. Me. So I lowered the Fireball damage, lowered the mana cost slightly so that you can use it better. Uh, I think that's good. And I buffed Nova. I gave Nova 10 more percent. Hog. 10 more percent in damage per level. So from 130 to 140 on max level. It's not a lot, but I'll always try to support Josh, you the team. thank you, Hashtag sir. Never leaving, always it's a fiver. Thank you so much, sir. I appreciate that. Okay. So, yeah, that's where we're at. And we got to get into the a vault. Mopog, finally able to catch a stream live from Cali. Can't Hell wait for the yeah. update. It looks amazing. Thank you, Keep sir. Keep up the amazing work. Thank also, you so much. Also, mob kill vials cause you don't get as many refills as the timer vials on average, even on high levels. Yes, we're, we're working on potions. My roommate just came in and asked why you are holding a quill laugh out loud right now. A quill? What was I holding? It wasn't a quill. That's funny, though. Uh, we, we, potions potions will get a little bit of love in update 12. It's something we wanted to do for update 11, but we, we, we're out of time. We, so we'll do it for update 12. Uh, there are a few things with potions that I think we can do quite easily to make them more satisfying. One of them is absolutely that the 150 mob skill is probably not a good, um, a good, um, uh, threshold. Specifically early game, it's kind of useless. So, we, we are aware. But okay, let's max battle cry. And, uh, unfortunately I messed this up. Oh no, it works on max level, okay. No, max tax 20. Oh my goodness, Iskal, you made, you made boo-boos. 25 months, let's go. We're going to try this with the lucky hit one, okay? So basically, so you understand this, I can get 50 stacks in total, but I can only use 20 per hit. And every stack grants me 5% lucky hit chance, which means that at max level, I don't actually need max level because I have lucky hit with my build. Um, so I can, in theory... Save a skill point here, but let, let's let's try it for max level. Let's try it for max level. It's definitely Quill. Name your Quill, Iskal. I don't know what your Quill is. What are we talking about? That's Quill. I'm confused, man. I'm confused. It's late. GLG without a bit saying I'm super ready for update 11. I hit 100 last night, and I'm ready for some new AP gear. Hell yeah! 
Great legs. Hell yeah. Um, absolutely nothing. So Thank you for the 500. Yes. Yes. That's what we're going to try today. So we got to we gotta do the stomp. Oh man. I, I We have two things to do. Because I want to show you guys something. I've been cooking off camera. I've been playing vaults all day today. With stress. Okay. I got two trinkets. Because I was trying out the new game rule. That we've now enabled on the server. Game rule. Vault. Uh, boost penalty. This we've now set to false on the server. Very cool. So now you can play low level vaults. And I've been playing with, with stress. Uh, it's been really fun. I've given her all the all the Omega loot except for the... Uh, this was a solo vault that I ran just before I started. Uh, I've given her all the Omega loot except the trinkets. I've also been buying stuff in the black market. Check this out. we got a little chest here. Look at this jewel. Brrr, it has potential. It has potential. And I do, I do need to buy these before they expire. So let's do that. Shopping first. Important. And I guess we buy the lemon too. Come on. No, it's not good. Uh, One year. Nah, that's not that's not fun. We'll buy that. We'll buy that. Uh, what did I get here? Yeah, so I I we need to get going. We need to get going. I don't have much time. I don't want to be stressing around either. Two things. I've been cooking up a build. <laughs> I went back to AD. Okay, so I was I was giving AP a lot of uh, love. I think we can all agree. We have been doing a lot of stuff with AP and it's really fun. Um, it's fun stuff. But I've been I've been cooking an AD build here. Okay. So we're gonna try something. And it's definitely not perfected by any means, because I'm actually using my old gear. So this can be this can get so much better. I just wanna inspire you all a little bit, okay? So if you if you pay attention, I've swapped back to my uh to my um, physical damage set. I got new trousers, okay? These are the old trousers that I had, and I got new ones with focus more on increased damage and the CDR. Didn't need the mana region. Didn't care much for the mana region. This is a quite vulnerable build. It's an 87% defense, so I take a lot of damage. It's quite dangerous uh, because I'm using my thorns shield with this because thorns, low-key thorns is quite good, okay? Uh, this build also relies on using the cufflinks, <clears throat> uh, and then I use whatever blue trinket treasure goggles is fun. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna I'm gonna show you guys what this is. This Thank is this is an AD really build. Fun streams. It also doesn't need. This is a very cheap build that you can make uh, without much investment in skill points and such. Uh, the only the only important thing is the javelin and the javelin enhancement because this is a javelin build. Okay. I then use Frost Nova and Frost Bite to kill uh, big tanky mobs, okay? And then Lucky Hit is used to Mana Steal and Cleave. My new Mana Steal, my beloved. So I ha also have quite a bit of uh, max mana. So 269 mana. It's fun, okay? God damn it, we need chicken. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this chicken. This chicken, man. Hold on. Hold on. We got a friend outside. We know what to do. Wait, will you mana steal on cleave mobs? No, no, no. That's exactly why we changed it. Sir, come down, come down to earth. Time for the mega chicken, yep. Look at my experience. I really need to just set up a chicken in a thing. I would be so smart because that hurts my finger. How many do I have? Oh, I can't count like that anymore. <sighs> Man, I Harry gonna need one in all 500 of those chicken parts. Don't forget this gal. What are you talking about, sir? Why are we giving anything to Barry? <laughs> Please be enough. <laughs> it, it can't even be scripted. It can't even be scripted. Like, th this is why I don't like story mode stuff. <laughs> this is better. How? Okay. I should buy a lottery ticket. What? That's crazy. Exactly one. Oh, I got a lot of bounty crates as well. I've been running some bounties. And I completed our lost bounty. So actually, we have a new one. The one we found last time. 
in the treasure room. Let's activate it. I don't want to do these big boy things uh, without you guys. Find 16 silver scrap. That's easy. What am I getting here? Ooh, some super ornate ones. That's not great. Okay, some fundies. Yeah, I mean, it's good. Uh, mine's Xenium. Oh, you know what? You know what? Oh, you know what? Oh, oh, here's a big... Here's the thing. Oh, here's the thing. Let's activate this. Let's activate this. Here's the thing that happened today when I was running vaults with, with stress. She was like, I'm out of uh, I'm out of player gems. I need to make some pogs. Because she was making the altar automation thing. And she goes, she goes, okay, should we just run a plentiful vault? I was like, yeah, I mean, you can, we can do that. She makes a crystal. She has four plentiful uh, catalysts. Plentiful. Pat. Four of these she has. So she applies them to the crystal, right? We go in. Guess what? Nether theme. Nether theme. So we were both mining. Check this out. I am I'm quite rich now with player wars again. 76 Escalium. All of the black ones, I think, come from that vault. It was very good. It was... Uh, I'll show you. I'll show you the stats. I'll show you the stats. It was earlier today. Uh, Ors mined here. 1298. This was the vault. 1298. But so random. It was a random... Just got the nether vault. With four times plentiful. And she got the augment. Which she gave to me as a present. Because she doesn't like the nether. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, look, she got the she got the augment. So we can now make our plentiful crystal that we've been working towards. Not today, but we, we can now make it. So that's great. I also did find a bombing night door and I didn't open it. I was like, I'm going to do this with my Dylans. Okay, I'm going to, I'm not going to waste it on, on, uh, off, off camera. Because I know what you guys are like. You guys are like, ah, oh, I see. I see. He says he found a treasure room off camera. Oh, yeah. Yeah, treasure room. Yeah. Let's start this off right though. Let's cut this boy. This is bought from the... Uh, this this jewel is bought from the black market, by the way. You can now get legendary in update 11, which is cool. Come on. Oh, hey, lucky 10. Been waiting for that all day. Found it this morning. Was really excited. God damn it. All right. So, as I'm saying, <laughs> it doesn't deserve to be smelted. We also got two trinkets we can identify. Uh, let's just let's just roll one now. So the first thing we're doing, we're doing the stomp build. Okay. We're first running a vault, non stomping. Oh, we got a new one. We got a perfect spell book. Holy. Bruh, we're almost done with all the trinkies now. That's a perfect. 30 uses. Ability power 1. What level is stress? 51. It was easy for me to run her vaults. Bruh, that's really cool. That's really cool. What trinket do we still have? I don't know. I, th I think that could be making an insane thing. Okay, Elytra Wings and Stone of Jordan are the two ones I don't have. Come on. Come on, be nice. There it is. Stone of Jordan. Plus one to all learned abilities. Okay. This build just got better, I think, because this trinket. <laughs> Javelin. Javelin uh, gets a lot of bonus from learning an ability. Look at this. Piercing nine. It's level six. Stone of Jordan. Yeah. Asoy. It's, it's six piercing on level two. That's a significant difference. Uh, dash, obviously, you can't reach these numbers otherwise. Vein Miner, 96 blocks. Anything else I've maxed with this build? Hunter. Um, Highest call. I don't know what, what the change is. Baby? Oh, I didn't make overlevels for Battlecry, so Battlecry actually does nothing. I forgot about that. Yeah, Stone of Jordan, pretty good. Let's not. Mm, do I want to use it for this run? No, I kind of like the treasure goggles here. We'll, we'll use it for the stomp build. We'll use it for the stomp build. That's going to be Corey. good for the stomp build. Okay. So what I've cooked, what I've built, is a build that kills mob mobs using javelins. It kills them by doing this. Hello, Miss Carl. Mana is an issue, you say? Well, 
Let me refresh. Now the thing is, this is really fun, but I think it, I think this can be better. And I'm not sure if this is dumb, okay? This may be dumb. But I don't know if I have time to run two of these. Oh, uh, if I go now, Good if I go now, I may have time. If we just run now, if we just go. We just go now, we try this out first, and then I want to try an alternative version of this. Dylan, what do we say? Yeah? We run this now, then we try an alternative version of this. Prediction. Um, is this javelin build viable? Uh, this javelin build is OP. Very viable. Decent. Quite bad. Really bad. Absolute garbaccio. Okay. There we go. Prediction. Go ahead, Dylan. Go Gamba. Go Gamba. Go Gamba. Go Gamba. Go Gamba. What do you think? Decent is in the lead right now. Um, so what else? Uh, cufflinks makes me have maximum cooldown reduction. Uh, I'm using Smite. No, I'm not using Smite. Did I remove that? I thought I was using Smite. Oh, no, no, no. That's not this build. I'm stupid. I'm using... Uh, it's a very simple build. We're using Battlecry now as well. I don't know if we're... That's more for testing it. I don't think it fits this build very much. It's a very, very straightforward build. It doesn't have anything going for it in terms of abilities. Like, it's, 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 it's just... Yeah. You know? Let's see how it plays. Let's see how it plays. I think this build could be made better. And, we, and I want to try it. The, the thing I want to try after this vault is... What if we skip Piercing Javelin and we go with this Javelin? Okay? The 80% damage. The double damage from the Piercing one. But it doesn't hit more targets. Exactly. That's why we also would remove some damage here. <laughs> so we come down 30%. And then we conduct with Chaining. Then we go with a Chaining Sword. Um... Possibly chaining, stunning, Nova. Ah, but then you need AP. Nah, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is the best I can do. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. It's a very fragile build, though. Where the hell is my crystal? Hello, friend. And let's run a... Uh, let's run a uh, Guardian. But I don't like Guardian. Let's run Elixir. I don't like Guardians. Guardian, Guardian not as fun. Guardian is fun for speedrunning vaults, but I don't want to speedrun vaults. I want to I want to loot and try out the big Wow, almost to the second baby. What do you want to name it less than 3? What is the new ability? Uh the new ability is Battle Cry. Drain the essence of mobs around you, gathering Battle Cry stacks and release an amount of stacks giving you bonus attack damage on your next direct on hit attack. It's supposed to replace execute. Uh you can get 400% damage if you max it. Uh, you can also turn, you you can, instead of using AD, you can get 400% of your ability power as damage. Or you can get 100% lucky hit if you max stack. That's the new ability. <clears throat> we call it the big bonk. It's called Battle Cry. Okay. Gamblers, you've said yours. Very viable is 53% believe in. What, what, what do I have here? Yeah, just some item rarity. So this actually... I'm, I'm running with a decent 74% item rarity. So that's cool. Ready, Dylan? We going? We doing this thing? 7-0? Boop, boop. 7-0. Crap, do I forget to... Did I forget my drink? No. 7-0, 7-0, 7 Alan, yup. Seven. Oh no, not this team. Oh no, actually, we have another thing in this uh, in this vault in this um, in this build. Look at this vault, though. It's not chaos. It's just a lot of modifiers. Uh, let's try it out. Okay, okay. It's not gonna, it's not going to be very viable if Fiscal can't aim. I want to get mining fatigued. I want to get mine if they, let me get mine if they, zombies. Come on. Oh. 
Hopefully Goody has lowered the mining fatigue to be 20 sec uh, 2 seconds instead of uh, 12 seconds. Okay, yes, it was. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. Thank goodness. Thank goodness for that. I know a lot of people are going to be happy about that, including Barry. I, I didn't realize it was 12 seconds. I was like, what do you mean? It's fine. You're amazing and thanks for all your work in the pack. Much love for Mouse. Thank yes, you, sir. Is pretty good, wink, wink. The result is pretty good, wink, wink. Jara, thank you so much for the fiver, dude. We just get back some mana. We go, we go more. Oh, you meant the result of the, of the gamba. Thank goody, dude. The server is lagging. That's a bit annoying. Hasn't been lagging at all today when I've been playing. Okay, it has. It has been lagging quite a lot, actually. Uh, okay, so how do I deal with tanks with this Gatling? Well, obviously Yo, here's where. We're bonking. Here's where Frost Nova comes in clutch. Yeah, I don't see a use for, for it. Oh, oh, oh. Let's do it here. No, I don't have a key. I haven't bought a key for it. Oh, my lord. Okay. He Champions will die to Frostbite with this build as well. They don't insta-die to Frostbite. I think they take 25% damage. We upped it a little bit from 10%. So many changes, man. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. As I say, it's a very, very dangerous build. <laughs> Get frozen. Hell yeah. That's a, that felt like 50%. Yeah. Oh, the FPS lag. I love my computer. I love... It's... It's good. My computer is good. Today when I complained on my PC, uh, stress went... Just buy a new PC, Eskal. What are you doing, Matt? <laughs> like, I will. Saving and having to find out how stuff works and things, you know? Ornates are not that good. Hmm. A little baby runs up to me and get the worms. Let's go. Stress spitting facts, yeah. What do you guys think, though? Do you like my little cooking? This is my this is my own dessert. This is the dessert I've done today. I was like, I really love all these AP things, but am I leaving am I leaving AD builds behind? Obviously we know the cleave the cleave on hits. You can do this with scatter javelins as well. I just prefer the piercing ones. I think you may actually get more DPS from scatter. <laughs> Ten years later, he's gonna finally prove announced that he has a new PC. Yeah. <laughs> One of these days, dude. One of these days. If I'm honest, I was kind of hoping that PC Specialist, who sponsored me last time, would, would say, You know what, this gal? Let's, uh, let's get you that new PC. Oh, I don't have I don't have Battle Cry Bond. How cringe. Let me bind it. Battle Cry. Taunt. There we go. So that you can see it. But I do think the duration of 5 seconds is going to be a problem. I don't think that's... I think we need to increase it, as I say. Uh, so use it. I don't know if you can see. It's a little bit unclear on my screen. Whenever I whenever I use Battle Cry, I get stacks underneath my crosshair. Okay. I, I promise you, you see it when you when you play, but it's it may be hard to see on stream. Yeah, and, and then I use them up immediately because I'm not doing it on big mobs. The bigger the mob, the more stacks. I'm used 1.5 speed on Vodskull. Talk faster, please, low. Sorry, sir. I'm sorry, I'm going to talk really fast. What was that? Did I just... Did I just, did I just speak Italian? I spoke a little bit of Italian. Hag. My mother always said that I could speak Italian. I get it now. That was that was beautiful. Uh oh. Dude, the little guy is gonna die from thorns. Watch. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, we got a treasure key! Bro, we got a treasure key from the champion! Senior Escal. Mm. Skill is she built though? <laughs> Don't speak Italian in 1.5 speed. You are going to hurt your wrist. <laughs> You're going to hurt your wrist. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, this is this is definitely a bit of a because I because I've had to sacrifice. I can't have any resistance, right? I need the damage for the jabs. Um, because of that, this is a little bit of a dangerous build. I take a lot of damage. It's not very tanky at all, but I think that's kind of fun. I you know it's cool. It's risky. It's scary. Okay, let's suck these in. I used up the stacks on the both the hits there, but I, I did get two lucky hits in. So the way I would use this is to recover mana. Then you can of course use it for the attack damage as well. Do you think a level uh, 100 player could fully clear a level 1 vault, like all loot, all chests and mobs and mines, uh, and all ores? Mm, yes, definitely. A level 1 vault is like... Um, I can't remember. They're tiny. They're very small. I think you can do that on, like... Probably you can do it at level 1 if you're really good. Nah. Dude, the champions, the amount of champions. We haven't increased them. I'll take it. I should do this. I should get that key out that we've got. Tag. And uh, identify it. What did I get? A dubium. A dubium key. Look for a tubby door. Crap. Everything was go good. I swear I hit better. I swear I have a better aim when I play off camera and just chilling. <laughs> Stage fright. Stage fright skull. Also, I use tanks to recover mana because it takes a few hits to kill. So it's actually... Yeah, quite significantly exciting or uh, good to like recover all my mana on them. It's very baggers. This call. I miss watching the streams and videos. Hope everything is better since you last shared your life situation. I Anyways, don't. I have to sleep, so enjoy the stream, everyone. Go to sleep, sir. Have a good night's sleep. I don't. Have a good night's sleep. Dream about uh, Vault Hunters. Guybrush coming in and dropping five gifted subs as well. Thank you, Guybrush. Thank you. All right, chat. Let's get talking. What do we think? What do we think of my uh, Javelin machine gun build? We can use Scatter. I, I kind of want to try. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. Because I have a lack of time and because we got to try things for tomorrow. I'm going to do this. I'm going to be Cheat Skull. Javelin... You can drink these in creative in a vault. I want to try uh, the scatter thing because I don't think I've cho I don't think I've shown the changes to to scatter javelins. Have I? Did I ever try it out on camera? I don't think I did. So let's see how it plays. Yeah, I'm cheating for you guys. Okay, cheating my specialization flask for you. Okay, okay, battle cry, battle cry or bomb worked so good there to just recover all my mana. I think it may be faster with the scatter. I think it may be even better with scatter javelins. If I can aim. That was so pog. Definitely better with scatter. 
Hey, have we finally have we finally fi fixed scatter? I mean, the changes that Joe did are just so good for the. Twenty-two months. So good to see you back. Hopefully, you've had some good time off. Otherwise, hope all is well. Thank Less you, sir. Three. Thank you, sir. I have not had good times in real life. I've been going through some pretty garbage stuff that I'm still going through. Um, but no one's fault. Bruh! Bruh! I'm a scatter man now. What's my song, Dylan? I'm a scap man. <laughs> yeah. That was so good. Bruh, pure skill. So, I'm gonna spoil the ability for... To no, I'm not gonna spoil the ability for tomorrow, is what I mean. Uh, but we're gonna stream tomorrow. It might be a shorter stream, just to... Um, just to show you guys uh, the finalization of update 11. The finalization is basically one more ability. I think that's a pizza night door, unfortunately. Uh, one more ability specialization is fireball. And um, we'll do that tomorrow and then and then it goes uh, it goes live on CurseForge tomorrow at 2 p.m. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah, getting too good at seeing these colors. Okay. A little bit more with Scatter, then we try out the base spec as well. You have a tab key? That was not a tabium door. It was a pizza night key door. <laughs> no! You don't have to throw them in the ground. I just, uh, just think that, that is the most... You can actually do this now. You can just multi-shot them. God damn it. That was, that was awkward. The one thing with scatter... Leech. The one thing with scatter that's a little bit annoying is uh, terrain. Like some of the rooms, scatter is just going to be bad in. But likewise, I suppose Scatter is pretty good in, in... Like, it can be very good in other areas, too. It has them both, both of the sides. Like, here, here Scatter is really bad. Oh, you can bounce it in water. Okay, maybe not then. <laughs> is that speed? Yeah. Stress was also so cute when we were in the nether vault earlier. Ouch. This is this is a, this is the danger. It's a danger. Yeah, stress was really cute when we were in the nether vault earlier. She found us an uber speed one as she was running between ore rooms, but she found it in an ore room. It was the first thing she found in the ore room, right? And um, she took it immediately before she mined the wars. She's like, oh, this is kind of useless now to find this now. I was like, no, you just uh, you just save it till you're done with the war room and then you use it. <laughs> and she replies, no, I mean, it's useless because I can't control that much speed. <laughs> She's not wrong. Strafing with this amount of speed is like, what? Oh, funny, funny. Humble? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, quickly in chat, those of you who are watching the build. Those of you who cares about the game. About the build that I'm doing. Echo. Of course. Of course. Scatter or Pierce? I think Pierce is easier to hit and... Hmm... Over time, I think Pierce has maybe got a few more use cases. But the power you can get from Scatter from hitting three javelins into one target is unmatched. Look at that. I can two-shot the tanks if I bounce them correctly. Bruh. Scatter is finally good. Piers was better, I think. Yeah, I... I, mm, I think it's very situational. 
Here, Pierce would probably be... Yeah, Pierce would have been better there, because I would have got the ghost as well. Yes. Yes. Pierce would have been better there, too, because... Uh, for some reason, I couldn't bounce them back on them. But it may also just be uh, a skill issue. I think Scatter is also slightly more expensive on mana, so... There we go. That was Battle Cry there. An orange, nice. Oh, here Scatter is bad. Not bad, but harder to hit. Oh, how good isn't the Mining Fatigue change? Thank goodness. Someone is giving me weakness, though. I think that was the champion. Okay, the last javelin that I wanted to try, the base javelin, let's try that. But that one would be better with a chaining sword. And then you've got to start mathing whether or not you're losing damage or gaining damage. But the, the base javelin does double base damage and knocks back the mob. But the most important thing with it is that it's super cheap on mana and super quick on cooldown. I think. If I remember correctly. We'll try it out. We'll try it out after this room. Dude, Thorns is so good. Look. <laughs> Guy. He's killing himself. Alright, let's try it. Let's try out the uh let's try out the base. Yeah, Dylan. Base ability try. <clears throat> now you're gonna have rapid fire with normal. It doesn't feel faster. Why doesn't it feel faster? Am I wrong? Does the cooldown actually is the cooldown actually not different on the base? It's kind of funny, so gotta check. Three seconds. Two seconds. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> uh, screw that. <laughs> Why is it like that? Shouldn't it be the other way around? Oh, no. That was the... Okay, exactly what I was trying to do now was something that we balanced out a little while ago. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're trying to make it so that the base javelin, because of the mana cost, it shouldn't ever be a rapid fire cannon. I'll probably put that to the same cooldown though as the others at least. I thought it was... Oh, that's, that's embarrassing. Uh, piercing would have been better there. Let's collect up all the mobs. Let's do the big, big boy mob. Big boy mob thing. Honestly, this is probably the worst room, uh, probably the worst theme for, for Scatter Javelin as well, and they still work pretty well. We almost have a funny number as month sub hashtag never ever leaving. Mr. Lou, we almost do. Crazy dude. Thank you so much for the 68 months. You better make it to the, to the funny number. Thank you so much, Mr. Lou, though, seriously. You're, you're a legend around these here places. Thank you so much, sir. I think I prefer... I, I can't believe I'll say this. I think I'm preferring the, sca uh, the Scatter Javelin. I think it takes a little bit of practice, but... And that, that zombie was just hacking. It was just hacking. It's cheating. But I think it's better, you know? X mark inscription. Did I get one? Pag. Thank 
for letting me know. I actually missed that. The main thing for this build to work is enough mana regen to sustain. You don't actually I don't have mana regen on everything and I have no perfect rolls. And then cooldown. Cooldown is the most important, obviously. So this is running cufflinks. You don't need cufflinks if you get really good gear. Because there is a limit. I like it. Pointers. Let's try the tank. Yeah, that was bad. <laughs> they burped after death. Loving the look of the update, Mr. Is Paula hashtag never ever leaving. Thank you, sir. Alright, should we get... Uh, what's the time? 10. I got another hour in me. Should we get out of this vault? Should we just complete it and go and try the stomp build? Stomp build is a prismatic feather build that I've been thinking about. That should be quite fun. Loot. Loot the vault instead. I suppose it's a good vault to loot. I suppose it's prismatic actually. Yeah, yeah, no. No, we should... I should just... I should just speed vault. Speed loot. See, I have a problem lately. In the beginning of Vault Hunters, you know when me and Barry was competing for chests and stuff? Then it was like, competing for chests was the most fun you could do. Loot the most... Uh, was the most fun and Barry was beating me and stuff. Then, in update 9, the game became much more fun to kill mobs. Like, like killing mobs actually became really fun. And it's a feel bad for me now if I don't, like, focus on killing mobs. 25 months, damn, where has time gone? Hard to believe Chad has been consistently losing a game for over two years. That's crazy. Is that also, CCM? Hey, yep. Hall, I hope you are doing okay What's up, this CCM? fine day. What's up, sir? I'm doing all right. Yep, first. Oh, here scatter is gonna be really bad because of the terrain. Uh, Salsa, uh, Cass, one of you, could you pull? Could you pull scatter or pierce? I want to see what the Dylan's thinking in actual pull. They never, they don't get enough pulls. Dylan, you don't get enough pulls, do you? I'm kind of bad with pulling. And actually, it's not me. Seki is here as well. Seki could pull as well. Yeah, what I meant to say was, like, I really like the interaction of mobs now, to the point where, to me, it's more fun to play the game with a, with a focus on getting the extra soul shards, etc. And it may not be balanced still, it may not be the best. I think that passivist builds should always, like, should always, I think it should be a game design, that passivist builds should always be the builds that loot the most, because if they're not, then passivist builds are just useless. Uh, and and as a as a killer, as a killer build, you make up for it in um, battle cry. You make up for it with soul shards. You know what I mean, Dylan? Over all the times where we focus, where we try and say, "This is how you should play the game," we've never said that, right? We've never said that. But diversity is good. It's actually 50-50? Really? Hold on, let me get it up. No, it's 2872. There we go. So I got 10 stacks from the piglin. 10 stacks from one piglin. I don't know. I feel like Battle Cry is great. I think it's a fantastic ability. I think it's a little bit hard for you guys to see what's going on. And I apologize for that. Cat. Okay, the good thing with Scatter is that it's definitely more DPS potential, but it also costs more mana. So there's a little bit less mana or less mana efficiency. Battlecry, yep, yeah, it's the new ability. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna do the ability real quick so that you can see. I'm gonna tell you when I'm doing it. I'm gonna spawn in all the mobs, then I'm gonna press the ability. And what it's gonna do is drain the essence of mobs in a radius of seven around me. Okay, you ready? And then underneath my crosshair, right here underneath my crosshair, it's gonna be very, very hard to see, but it's gonna tell you how many stacks I have. The champion is gonna give a lot, so this is great. Here we go. There are 50 stacks. And then 20 stacks is a 100% lucky chance. Did that make sense, Dylan? I know it's very, very hard to see. It's it's supposed like it's supposed to be hard to see because it shouldn't obstruct your your gaming. What's the time? It's called damn two minutes. Crap. Did we have? Do we have a lodestone? That scatter javelin was also very packed, by the way. Oh, another big thing. Hellfire has probably fixed the air thing. There's a dungeon there. There's probably no more air bug. Normal. Okay, my my defense is. I'm not a dungeon build, because I don't have any defenses. That's another thing I have to remember to do tomorrow morning. Ooh. I have to remember to... Um, Keep up the good work. I have to remember to check the illager on the hard, because I think they're bugged out. I think they're wrongly configured from me. Or the scaling is uh, is off. This was a normal dungeon. Felt felt good. The damage was there. It was quite dangerous, but totally doable as they should be. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's back. Let's back. Let's back. Oh wait. God oh, damn it. Yes. Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it. <laughs> there it tries to char! God damn it. <laughs> Did you guys see the little baby? <laughs> he climbed down the chain. <laughs> he climbed down the chain and then just off he went. Bad content, bad streamer, but we still love kind of weird bad content and bad streamer but we but we still love me thank you sir thank you what are you doing with your life dude why are you wasting it on me he's weird bro that guy got frostbitten and died from my thorns what a legend did you guys see that this man he was like, "I'm gonna roll at you." He got frostbitten and then thorned himself to death from my from the fro uh, from the frostbite proc. That's amazing. Back. All right. Um. I'm not gonna lie, this may be my favorite build that we've done. Despite all the AP stuff, I feel very com com I feel very comfortable. Very comfortable running this build. This build is terrible at single target, so easily really, really bad. What? <laughs> it's bad at single target? Was he watching? OP with scatter. I'm gonna say it's touching on OP, but I don't think it's overpowered to the point where you guys saying um are you guys saying that I should nerf it? Hmm. Cause that's what OP means. Overpowered. That would mean that would mean it would need a nerf. I don't think I need to nerf it. I don't think I need to nerf it. I think it's very viable. It's a very good build. It does require a lot of increased damage because you do want to two-shot the mobs with the javelins. If you three-shot them, well, then uh, then you're losing out. 
I'm gonna stick with Scatter though. I'm gonna select Very Viable. Congratulations, believers in Very Viable. That was a fantastic vault. Delete that. That was a good vault. We got a, a treasure key in there. And we got some stuff. Very cool. Plunk it there. We're gonna get right back into it. We're gonna do the the Mega Stomp build. Yeah. This, I don't think any other hunter has done this build on the server. Correct me if I'm wrong. For this build, we're going to rely on... Um, AP. We want to go max AP with this build, which is this set here. Hey, Iskall. I'm Very completely damaged. hooked on Vault Hunters right now. It's amazing. You and the team should be extremely proud of the game you have made. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Or do we go with the goblin set the loot set do we go less ap and go with the loot set or do i go full ap with this no because this has so much mana region oh but cdr is going to be important hmm this has cdr Yeah, I think I'm going to go full mage. Full mage for the test of, of the big stomp. That's what we call this build. The big stomp. The big stomp. We're going to use the feather. The feather enables this build. And then we're going to use... Uh, I guess we want to try and max the build. So maybe we use... Actually, maybe we use cooldown. Because I'm lacking CDR here. 52%. The main... Killer ability. Actually, let me let me save this. I like this uh, variation of the scatter. Yep. Glad to catch a stream. I've missed so much, but still here to support. Pagging. Thank you, sir. Uh, we'll just take this build out. I think. Yeah. So, the idea of this build is... What just happened? That didn't reset correctly. The idea with this build is to kill mobs using poison and, most importantly, Heroes Landing. We're going to have issues with single targets, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Smite, the base Smite, which got buffed in update 11. It got buffed so that it uh, has a smaller radius, so it can be more controlled and does a lot more damage. So that's going to be our single target killer. You spec into the car build? Oh, okay. Cool. That's alright, I got worried that something was broken with the data. Um... Archon also got uh, buffed, by the way. We did add the 30% durability, or we'll have it by tomorrow. I don't know if I need mana shield with this. We could keep Fireball as a backup. I think we have to just try this and see what's missing. Because nothing like this has been done before. But the idea is, I'm going to be jumping a lot. I'm going to be stomping the mobs using this ability. Yeah. That's how we're going to be killing them. And the reason we can trigger it is because we get such high jump speed with Prismatic Feather. There's a little bit of prestige in this build. I'm not going to lie. Because um, Tango Frags, Greg, says that the Prismatic Feather is garbage. He says that it's the worst trinket in the game. Multiple mean! What's up, multi? Let's get some repair cores going here. Wings are actually... Oh, yeah, yeah. He says the wings... Are... Okay, Greg is in chat. Greg is woken up. Napper. How's the foot, Greg? Seriously. On serious note. I, I didn't realize. I heard from someone that it was apparently very serious. And that you probably are going to um, be gone for the next six months. Um, how bad is it, dude? I'm, I'm really sorry to hear that. It's... it. I don't I don't want to be that guy, but it, it feels like a classic bango... Uh, injured, like how, how 
I don't know how you manage, dude. Basically, is what I'm saying. That is what I'm saying. But yeah, um, six to twelve months. It's bad. Yeah, it's, that's very sad. Does hero landing negate uh, armor durability? No, no. It's a uh, smite archon does. How much regen do I have? Actually, it's important. Three seventy four. May want to run this with the phylactery then. How much does smite cost per second? 1.8. Mm. It's going to be a little bit of upkeep here. I'm not really going to be able to use poison nova much. Maybe that's okay. We'll see. Okay. Let's try it out. Let's do a new gamba. Uh, this stompa build is... Same thing. OP, very viable, decent, quite bad, really bad, absolute garbaggio. Let's go. Here we go. This is what we're doing. That is what we're doing constantly. We're just gonna jump and take fall damage. I, I don't think so. No, I shouldn't have sorcery. Good. Okay, cool. It's absolutely OP. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. You forgot your pack pack, did I? Goddamn pack pack. I did. Thank you, sir. The black one. Uh, also, be looking for uh, be looking for keys. Thank you, dude. Seventy nine percent on very viable. Interesting. We double check everything. Who's excited to see this in chat? Who's excited to see how this works? Oh, I gotta do one more thing. Pyder is. Greg is. Sek is. I'm excited. I'm excited. No idea about what. Synth What? What are you talking about, Synther? There's actually no one who's actually excited, like, like that's not like an inner circle Iskalian in that answer. Here we everything. go. It's Amy, Iskalio. <laughs> exactly, Stop not Kalio. It's a Mario a bit. Feels good to be back, hashtag Googie. never ever leaving. Thank you so much, Googie. Thank you, 77 months, by the way, Multi. Absolutely insane. Um, We got 2% on OP, 59% on very viable, 37% on decent. OP means that I need to nerf it after this. Uh, like, OP would mean that it's too good. Oh! No, we can't run the Stone of Jordan here. We can't run Stone of Jordan. That would be good because of the damage ability. But we need the Feather. Here's how the skill reads. It does... It costs 34 mana, it does 40 damage reduction, 160% ability power. 15 second cooldown. Okay, here we go. Did it, did it, did it, did it, did Cold cookie. Bucks, Pog. Thank you so much for the $30, sir. Appreciate you, man. Thank you, thank you. Oh, this is a poison bolt. Poison bolt actually stacks with toxic reaction. Did you guys know that? <laughs> yes. But they didn't die. Oh no. Okay, okay. How do we deal with this guy? We gotta, we gotta activate. I, I clicked the wrong button. Page down. Play there. Smite. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, that's how we deal with champions. That's also our mana, our mana situation uh, being a little bit of a micromanagement situation. Damn. Like now, I really need to leech. <laughs> yes. Let's go. And I don't have much lucky hit here. I would need a lucky hit uh, sword. That's because of smite. I have to have smite for the single targets. Hmm. Okay. 
interesting. There we go. There we go. That's what I needed. I need two hits. Man the art work looks amazing for Fireball. You are so talented. Hope to see more yeah. of your work in the future. Thank you so much, Master White. Yeah, the Fireball looks great. Fab did a really nice Fireball. Uh, artistically, absolutely. But it wasn't matching the rest of the style. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, feel, I haven't spoken with Fab about it. I basically said to I said to Pider, okay, Pider, look, look, what what if you if you were to do a fireball icon, how would you do it? And this is how they did it. All right. Cold. I have to go, but I hope you all will have a great stream. Cold, too generous man. This man's. Thank you so much, Cold. Thank you so much. Very generous man. Get some love for Cold in chat, please. Smite is so much better now. Smite is insane, actually. Look, like the target system. I don't know if the target system is in. But uh, Joseph was talking about making it so that it always targets the highest health. There was someone who suggested this. It wasn't It wasn't Joseph's idea. <laughs> Just taking that away from him. But I feel like it's in already. Isn't Smite good? Smite's great. That's a lot of damage. Yep. <clears throat> it's the highest damage ability in the game. Single target, though. Ooh. Little market time. Oh, man. I gotta... Oh, no. I took this out yesterday when we were doing stuff. Burp. It's fine. It's fine. We're not stressing. We're chilling. Cold cookie. Not only did you drop another... Bucks, dude, that's eighty dollars. You also dropped ten gifted subs. What are you doing, sir? Thank you so much, legend. Cold cookie with these amount of donations, uh, you should really look into the. Uh, what is it talking about? Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. It's just too soon. You should really look into joining the uh, Patreon. Get some armor, unless you're there and I'm like messing up. I don't know if I should buy scrappy stuff, but I'm just I'm just a shopaholic right now. I still think that this is one of the best builds I've ever seen in this game. It's really pretty. This is uh, Sunny and Pider. No, not Pider. <laughs> Homo. Um, at their at their best. Four month pog. Okay, we move on. The pedestal because we bronze from backpacks. Yep, yep. I mean, we do have Peppa, Peppa the Legend on the team. You know? Okay, the, the CDR is a bit of a problem, but not really. <laughs> uh, so many Reddit threads saying that uh, there are no good abilities anymore. <laughs> Everything has been nerfed. What are you talking about, dude? The entire game just got better. Christ. And I'm, I'm not even holding my pickaxe. Okay, so far I'm, I was concerned. I was concerned. I'm not gonna lie. I was concerned that it might fall under the OP category. But I don't think... I don't think I need to be concerned about that. I think we're actually okay. Because while it does a great job at clearing things, it is very reliant on terrain. Right? If I... You, you can't use this in the village room. You can't use it in the village room. Ooh, I'm gonna get some toxic reaction now. Toxic reaction is useless though. I don't need toxic reaction for this. So if I really want to do this build, I have some skill points to use. I don't need poison over at all. Uh, but yeah, you, you also would need the prismatic feather to be able to do this consistently or use dash. Right? But prismatic feather saves a lot more mana. It's very mana heavy, like super mana heavy. That's another thing. And as I say, you can't do it in small areas because you can't get the jump height needed. You could use Mega Jump potentially. Yeah, Mega Jump is another good uh, ability instead of... Uh... But Mega Jump, then it's then it's cast time. It's, it's a bunch of things that's problematic. Like here, I, I can't actually do the to these. I gotta rely on Smite. 
And there should be mana leeching. So I don't think it's OP. I think it's good. I think it's... Um, this is not going to be quite bad. It's going to be decent or very viable. Comments from chat? What are you guys feeling? Watching? It's also an AP build, right? So I'm a mage. I take a lot of damage. You've got to be a little bit worried about that. Smite is absolutely needed, though, for single target. I could possibly switch Smite out for the new Battlecry, actually. This could probably work pretty good with Battlecry. Feels very viable. Decent. Please buff so that it's OP. <laughs> Actually, Battlecry may do better here than Smite. Because I'm losing mana when Smite is going off on the garbage mobs. Hmm, interesting. This is the new Nova. No. No, I don't think so. If it is, then that's... In a way, that's fine, because this takes a lot more skill... But like here, I can't possibly do this room. Maybe because I have Fireball. Actually, I have Fireball as a supportive ability here. <laughs> it's so dumb. Not gonna lie, it's really, really... It's really, really dumb. Uh, it's funny though. I like it. Like the, the play style for, for this is fun. And this is what I've been waiting for. The prismatic feather. Uh, the higher the fall, by the way, the bigger the radius. So if I fall from there to there, I probably covered the entire room. No joke. Which may make the Mega Jump version of this actually... That actually buffs the Mega version of this, Mega Jump version, which is not bad. Dude, Smite feels great now. Smite can hit the zombie, yep, first. Problematic, problematic, I can't proc it there. Support fire. Yeah, that, that takes away from the OP-ness. It's very terrain, impor uh, terrain important. That also makes Nova compete with it. Because Nova does almost the same damage. If you hit it in the center. But Nova is obviously controlled by the player. Viable? I think it's very viable. I'm leaning towards very viable again. Which is great. That's very great. Majority of the different builds should be very viable in the game. It's bad if you have one that's OP, because then that's the one that everyone should use to play the game most efficiently. Does Venus have a precious shiny like chat? Lol, stay positive and ice cold. Is call. La la. Is card is card. Thank you, Lala. La. Thank you. Appreciate you. How are we? I see so many uh, legends when we do the American Time Zone stream. It's nice. I just really like streaming during the day, but maybe I should do more evening streams. Mm -mm -mm. Hey. <laughs> oh, it's, it's good. I think it would be fair to say, though, to remove the fall damage reduction fully from this. Am I right, Dylan? Like, isn't it weird that Hero's Landing has full damage reduction? It has 40%. So, so it doesn't feel good because you take full damage. So it actually does nothing emotionally to me. I don't have a ceiling key. I need mana. Why 
am I chilling the mobs? Is it my uh, wand? Oh crap. Tango, if you're still here, could you make a note for me? Could you make a note that I still have to do the chilling uh, uh, clouds for swords? I completely forgot about that. And axes. Please. Friend. Oh, Joe is awake. Joseph is awake. Wow, okay, so then I'm almost certain that we are gonna get our new ability and patch tomorrow. Joe, you're awake early, sir. Smite feels so good now. I don't know if you made the change to the HP. It just feels good anyway. I think people will really like it. Lucky hit, please. I need the mana. Thank you. One more. One more lucky hit. No lucky hits. Didn't make the HP change yet. I don't think it's necessary necessarily. I think the range change that we did. There was someone on Reddit who got very weirded out by the uh, by the change. Like someone who likes smite. I think it's a... <laughs> that guy did so much damage in two crits. I think it's a straight up buff though. I like it. That's bad. I need the mana. So okay. Consensus. Consensus about this. It's... It does require you to... I, I think it might be better with Battle Cry than Smite. For the big big boy hits. Because then you don't have to worry about this so much. Smite makes it quicker though. So the more mana region you have, the better Smite becomes. But because I'm reliant on having AP on my wand... Yeah, I don't think the lucky hit is as important. Uh, oh, I'm also clearing a dungeon. is probably not ideal. Can I even profit here? I can. Okay. Okay, calm. Would be great to find a table. Okay, I got one shot. Any mana? Mana? I love the dungeon builds, they're so good. Mr. Call. Hope things are going well. Thank As you, sir. Always, thanks for this amazing mod pack. Even more fun on day one. Thank you, dude. Isn't that great? Isn't it good that it's it's continued to grow? In funness. Because people have a short attention span. Yeah, this is gonna be a bit bothering. Oh hell no. Hell yeah. Yes! And then it's potion. Hmm. Now that we fixed mining fatigue, that's not as exciting. But that could have been... Uh, I mean, that is, I suppose, okay. Well... Not really. <laughs> At least I got one. Megalith is in the house too, dude. Megalith, how are you doing? We're doing this stomp. That's gonna try a smite build once update 11 hits. It looks so nice. Hell yeah, It'd be dude. great help clearing spiders cause I can't hit them for the life. Oh yeah. Oh, 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 I'm with you. I'm with you, sir. Yeah, spiders. <sighs> um. Do I care about ores? Oh, actually, we haven't even completed this yet. <laughs> Here's also a thing that makes it not so OP, is the Minecraft stupid garbage uh, handling when you get hit. When you're midair and you get hit by anything, it can just sometimes chuck you to the ground. <laughs> it's nice. 
I just realized. You're supporting the best streamer. Where Thank has the time sir. gone? Hashtag never ever leaving. You know where this build is insanely good? Dragon Room. Dragon Room is gonna do good for this build. Oh! Low poison. Poison immunity would be, or poison avoidance would be very beneficial. Okay. Crap, run mad again. <laughs> Yeesh. <clears throat> that would actually be OP. Yeah, just stand there and like bounce up and down. What does right click in the compass do? Uh, it binds it to that location. It's a new feature. Was that in update 11 or... or uh, or uh, 10, Dylan. I went the wrong way. 11. Okay, yeah, so you guys don't have it yet. Just be careful so you don't bind to a lodestone before you've completed the elixir, thinking that you will complete it, and then getting completely lost. That's what we worry about. We worry about you guys. Worry that someone is going to be mega editing about it. Goddamn slimes. God damn it. Okay, I, okay, that was a skill issue. Bango frags, you did the changes right to um, have um, um, the five minutes on the pylons. Dude, I, I just gotta leave this room. This is not good. Too much poison. At a scroll 85, would you need to continue supporting at champion Patreon levels each month to maintain access to the cosmetics or one time possible? The goal is, uh, the goal for us is to, uh, the ambition, the ambition is to make it a one time thing. If you subscribe for one month, 30 days, if you commit to the champion thing, then you get it permanently on your, on your IGN. Uh, but, there is a but. There is an issue with us coding it. There is a technical issue with how Patreon's API work. We can't change. Uh, it's it's a big it's a big story, but uh, for 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 legal reasons in certain countries, changing it to be paid upfront is not always possible. Uh, so right now we're struggling trying to find out. We I've hired a guy. <laughs> I've hired a guy. It sounds so professional, man. <laughs> but I have. I had an interview and everything. I was like, hello, sir. Uh, so, welcome to the interview, good sir. We have a problem. Uh, burp, you know. We had a, it was a whole process. It was kind of cool. That guy is currently working on building a Microsoft and Patreon identifier or um, API system. API reader. I don't know these things. What am I talking about? Shut up, Pascal. I can hear Hellfire sitting there face palming. Just thinking, what an idiot. And he's right. You know, man's not wrong. Adult skull, yep. Exactly. I'm, I'm not good at it, dude. I'm not good at it at all. But yeah, the ambition is to make it a one-time purchase. Of course, patronage is something different. So there will be a loyalty thing that we invent as well, eventually. For those of you who stay. Because... Those of you who are so insanely generous and stays on our Patreon, month in, month out, um, you give us the possibility, the ability for us to, uh, uh, to like, budget, for me, to, like, say, okay, I, I can afford to pay this salary this month and the next. Uh, because, as you all know, people in my team get paid. Joseph, that you see here in chat, Matt, this is, this is the man's job. That's how big Vault Hunters has grown, and that's thanks to you guys. And I can't believe it personally. It's just crazy, and I'm I'm so grateful. It's my thing. So thank you so much, Dylan. Like seriously, you you guys are insane. Thank you to the patrons. Thank you to everyone here on the Twitch supporting. Um, you guys are fantastic. We got the most generous community on Twitch. We've done this together. This is this is how I've always seen it. 
Gold Hunters would not be here without the without you guys. There's no there's no shot. So anyway, that's my that's my answer. That's ambition. That's what we're working towards. Uh, because it is a lot of money to get the champion set and the goblin set. But yeah, there we go. <clears throat> Jara with the fiber. Uh, thank you so much for the question. And then we have Fimlor with the prime. Thank you, Fimlor. I'm so bad at reading these things. And I mean, if you don't contribute financially, just hanging out here, just showing your support to the game means so much like to the team. I guarantee you, Joseph's and Gregory's and everyone's like uh, um, motivation, Hellfire's motivation and stuff goes up when you see people, you know, commenting, taking interest, gambling, you know, gambling and, and talking about Vault Hunters. I mean, that's kind of pog. Okay, let's get a let's get a let's get a pull up. Let's get a pull up mods. Seki, pull it. How do we like? How do we rate? Let's do a rating poll. How do we rate the Stompa build? We call it the Stompa build. S T O M P A. How do we rate it? One, two, three, four, five. Five is high. One is terrible. Yeah. How are we rating it? Gone. God, I want to see it. It's definitely a very weird build. I love it. I think it's really fun. I think it's funny. Also, I'm heading north. I'm heading north. I'm heading north. Four, four, five. Thank you, Zeki, or whoever did the poll. Horrible has one. No, three boats. What the hell? There are some amazings. There are some amazings. Most of you guys are a bit conservative, though. Most of you guys are like, uh, well, here's the deal. I'm not gonna say amazing because I haven't tried it out, okay? Based on what I'm seeing, I think it's good. I think it's a four, maybe a three. And then you have a bad day, you're like, it's gonna be a three. <laughs> it's gonna be a three. Bag. I, do, I, I didn't think I'd ever say this though, Joseph, but I'm missing having the treasure goggles on. They helped me out. Someone actually argued. This is funny. Someone said, treasure goggles are garbage because once you played Vault Hunters for a while, or well, once you played Vault Hunters enough till you got to the level where you got trinkets, uh, you know all the POIs and you know where all the chests are. <laughs> but... The thing that that guy missed, missed to think about is that a lot of PYs have random chest placements. <laughs> so what? And also PYs are random to appear. A lot of them are random placements. <laughs> uh, funny, funny, funny guy, funny guy. Right. Anyway. Did I rebind to this room? Yeah, I did. And we're heading north, Pag. I think you can possibly combine the Stompa with a pacifist build. And I mean, I'm not actively killing the mobs. 4-1 uh, by 40 with 49%. That's a lot. That's a lot in that. Baby, baby. No, I can't stomp on there. Goddamn room. Come here, come here, spiders. We can do it. <laughs> it's it's fun. It's fun. It's a five for me. It's a five. It's a five in fields. I think you can make, or I mean, you can make this build better. I'm still mid AP or mid to high AP. You can make this better. I think Battle Cry actually does better than Smite. If you want to, if you want more consistency uh, and a little bit more active actions, then then I think I think that will actually do better. Where the hell is there? But if you like me, like to be a little bit lazy and want to go for more mana region instead, then yeah, Smite's your friend. Smite's great for this. Little bit situational as well. That was only just being able to do that there. Man, 
enough time. God damn it! Can get Smith. I still don't fully understand. AP says Miss Crafty. Oh, it's very, very simple. Let me explain, Miss Crafty. Let me explain. I will explain to you like you're uh, 10, okay? You ready? AP is basically attack damage, but it rolls as implicit on your armor, and it only is attack damage for certain um, abilities. Those abilities will have a pink text saying that they scale their damage from ability power instead of attack damage. So instead of looking at your sword, it's looking at these values here. It's basically just attack damage, but does it for certain abilities. Okay. Now I shall explain it to you like you're five, because I think that's important. That was the ten-year-old. Here we go. Here we go. I'm just trying to put myself in the right frame of uh, mind. Uh, I'm just trying to think. I'm trying to, I'm trying to imagine that I'm speaking with Tango Frags. Uh, let's go. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Basically, ability power good if you shoot spells. Yeah. I think that I think that's a good one. Miss Crafty, ability power good. Understood, sir. Uh, the, the main reason we introduced the ability power was because uh, it always felt awkward to, like, do a Poison Nova or a Totem of Hatred, those two specifically, and then having to stand there with your sword while the mobs are dying, right? With ability power, you can cast your spells without having your sword out. So you can passively attack the mobs, uh, which is very strong in itself, while you do other stuff. Oh my goodness, am I... What, what's going on? Where's my time? One last stomp off. Boom. Oh, nice. Tango, Tango, Tango Frank's gonna look at that and be like, yeah, you see why Feather is not good? You hit the, you hit the ceiling, you idiot. Shut up, Tango. Feather is great. I know what you're thinking, dude. Explain it to Dylan like we're three. Okay. Dylan, like you three. Ability power. Mmm. Fun. Ah? Huh? That was the third three year old explanation. <laughs> Noted. Um, as for the Gamba, as for the Gamba, Dylan. Very viable. Definitely very viable. It's a strong four. Um, this is with... It's not OP because it requires you to have the feather to do what I did. It requires a bunch of cooldown reduction. Uh, and then mana regen. I think this can be made better. I used Fireball like once. I definitely think the Battlecry has a lot of potential in this build. 100%. I could actually swap out. Like, I don't need Poison Nova at all. I could just get rid of Poison Nova. Um, and without Poison Nova, I could go like Sorcery, Prudent. I could go like these luxury things. Knockback Resistance. How about the Damage Dash? Yeah, Damage Dash is probably pretty powerful as well. Damage Dash is one of those abilities... Where if you find a chest plate that has plus two damage damage dash, you're gonna get a lot of power from those plus two because it, it ups the distance of the dash. Okay. I won't have time to run another wall today. Uh Tango, are you gonna be streaming today? If so, I would urge you to come online now so that I can raid what you. What if my you friend. do tears on the armor? Like you're on Twitch with the badge. So if you get the Patreon subscription. You'll receive the armor and with more months of Patreon subscription, the armor will be upgraded or something like that. Maybe make it so the colors will light up. Also, mm -hmm. hope you're doing well. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea at all. Yeah, we, we, we're thinking about it. First of all, we have to solve the technicality of, uh, of one-time purchase. Uh, there's a chipped boy there. 
I see that we have also found this, which is great. This is a fantastic jewel. What the? Okay, we're, we're full as well. We're going to deload. We're going to look at all the cool things. Come on. Let's go. Oh, oh it so hurts. It was a 4.7. It only needed to go down one more. I even had the odds on my side. Bane. It's fine. It's fine. I actually think that jewel cutting has come... It is in a very good state. I actually don't think that it's... It's bad at all. That's a perfect mining speed. Deserves a cut. I'm being very, very min maxi now. With my selection here, I'm being very selective. Are you kidding me? Every single jewel just broke on the second cut. Ay ay ay. It's fine. It's okay. The old one was not in your favor. Nothing is ever in my favor, dude. I have the odds on my side and it's like, nah, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Ooh! Yes, it's a three! Oh, this is what I've been looking for! Hell yeah! This is what I've been looking for, a magnet. That's another thing, like, I can increase damage with magnet. I can increase CDR with magnet, item rarity. Oh, that's so good. It's another thing I should probably do tomorrow, is add ability power and enchant to magnet. I just think magnets are kind of weird. They're in a weird place right now. They're stat stick. That's an amazing find. That's an amazing, amazing find. Um, we'll work with that at some point. Yeah. Finally, a three suffix magnet. Yeah, it's been a, it's <laughs> it's been a thing I've been looking for for a while. That's a pretty good pre-roll, actually. The increased area of effect on uh, a wand is pretty good. That could be an upgrade. Because the AP is brilliantly rolled. Mm. Another good magnet. Not as good, but also savable. I gotta go through my gear again. Crap. Uh, let me just spin. Yeah. Take durability. Let's go. Let's go. It's back. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah. That's what we want. That's it. That's it. Um... Sure. Lose a lot of mana, but we get increased AP and area of effect. So this increases the radius of anything that has area of effect. It's a very cool modifier. Uh, where do I put it so I don't forget it? God damn it. I always do this, don't I? Mmm... Let me sort out the room. I'll put it here and I will forget about it. Bigger stomp? Exactly. It's for stomp. For, no for Nova it's really good because Nova has its damage reduced the further out the mob is, right? So for Nova it's like, it can do a lot for Nova. Hi. How have you been? I've been alright. Zudo, thank you so much for the 13 months. I don't know Stompa, I only know Stompa. Yeah, it's Stompa, by the way. It's Stompa. Thank you, Seki. Thank you. Always looking out for us. Totem Rejuvenation. Javelin Pierce. Oh, oh I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you guys, getting a level or two in, in, in a jab, like, in skills can be 
so very strong. There's a dash bullet boy, but with dash bullet you don't want a wand. Because you want to build an AD build. Attack damage. Any legendaries tonight? No legendaries. Interesting. Okay. It's two. <laughs> my 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 gear is so basic. Like this helmet is almost better than what I have. We can upgrade our AP set quite a lot. Oops. But yeah, check this out. I'm gonna I'm gonna waste some chaotics here. Okay. Okay. Oh, actually. All right. Yeah. Y yeah. 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 No. No. That. That's fair. Yeah. No. This is good. No. This. This is working as intended. Whatever. I wonder if it looks at the weights. I feel like it looks at the weights. There's another area of effect on helmet. If you're a Nova build, you want area of effect. <clears throat> That's gonna do a lot more damage. No legendaries. Hmm. Kind of sus. We can scrap all of these. Ah, uh, we'll save those. We'll save the sword. Always good to have some extra swords to roll on. How am I doing for hats? Oh, computer! Boop! Legendaries, hello, exactly. Yeah, they're just gone. Uh, okay, cool. What did I get here? Decent amount of soul shards. Pag. This is not reset yet. Nine minutes. That's the other thing. Like, like the AP set that I have here is so basic. <laughs> it's so basic. I could, I could get soul chance and stuff and things like that. Soul shop, yepers, black market. Oh, here's my here's my brick guy. Um, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. I think I wanna. I think I wanna take maybe the next stream now that we released updates. No, not the next stream. Not tomorrow, but the stream after. I think I want to take it to set up a, uh, an expansion to the base where we have all the builds and everything saved. Also, I've actually run out of space in my in my build here, uh, in my skill altar. So rather than keeping the fireball build that we started off by making, I like the Gomba Stomp, the Stompa build so much that I'm going to save the Stompa build as, as one of our main builds. More slots. This is actually a data problem. It's it's a lot of data that this thing saves. But yeah, I'm I'm gonna save the Stompa build, and we can possibly rebuild it from being like. Um... Ooh, I had one done, and we had this done. Yeah, we we can possibly rebuild it from being a straight up um, a Stompa. Like we can add things to the build. I feel. Why can't you craft another skill altar? It's a data thing. It's a data, and they're tied to players. They're like ender chests. They're like ender chests. Uh, let me get this. We're going to pop open our bounties. We have two, two big boy bounties. I think this is a legendary bounty. Yep. Pag. Look at all that. Mm. Some more gear. I'm only on board 33. That's all right, dude. Vodskal 85. Zudo. Can we get some love for Zudo? Can we get some love for Vods Vodskalers? I appreciate it a lot, dude. Seki is amazing to 
be uploading them for me. Because I don't think Dowski uploads them. <laughs> I think it's a second job. No legendaries! Come on! Let's save the sword, though. In update 11, there's so much with gear that we barely, like, scratched on. We haven't looked at any... We haven't got any uh, item upgrade or uh, um, level upgrades. And that's a huge part that you can play around with, which is excite. I can throw away these two. Get some more faceted. He made two thumbnails for me the other day. Oh, that's good. That's good. I love me, Dowski. Uh, right. I want to do one more thing. Do you guys remember that we found a Neuralizer? We found a Neuralizer in a treasure chest. I'm new, but hashtag never ever leaving. I am going to change up some things. I'm just going to take a screenshot. We're going to change up some things, okay? I like forti Fortitious Finesse. Okay. I love Marketer. We have two points in Marketer. We are a dual cutter. Right? Mystic does nothing for us. Obviously. So we're going to have to take it anyway. We're going to take... We have two points here. I'm going to keep at least one. I am still trying to get my prismatic pickaxe. So we're going to go fortune 2. We're going to go one more in infuser. Okay. Here's where we are. We have three in unbreaking. I definitely want three in unbreaking. I'm going to go four in unbreaking and one in artisan. Over are our days as a bounty hunter. Okay, we pack him with that, because now what I can do is I can break my black opal down, blopal, at full efficiency. And I want to do that because I want to see how close we are to, um, to our prismatic tool. We have six omega pogs. I'm going to go in a second, but we'll do this first. Sounds good, Dylan. Tango, by the way, Greg, is is the Blood Moon theme in at the moment? Or is that something we need to talk about? That's another Mega Pog, I think, in Black Opal. Um, hold up. Someone give me the... <laughs> Please give me the numbers again. I forget. What is it that I need? Yeah, it's definitely one more. I think it's like 80. Black Opal. Tango is napping, I'm guessing. <laughs> oh no. This man. <laughs> this man, dude. Is this free to play? Yeah. Ab absolutely. Absolutely. Make sure... If you love Minecraft and you also love... A roguelike and dungeon crawlers. You can love Vault Hunters, dude. I just feel it. Three minutes. Uh, let's craft another Omega Pog. Big moment. I think we can do it. Nine, right? Wait, let me just double check. Nine of those. Nine of those. Nine of these. Nine of Bombi Boy. <laughs> when I was young, I was a regular kidnapper. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> what? I, I, I'm laughing because that is... What, what are you saying, sir? Friend, you okay?
Nine of those, and finally nine pizza nights. I didn't need the math help. Uh, I should have noted how many it costs, but I can't, I can't do another one. Here we go. Omega Pog number seven. We need nine of these. We have seven now, for those of you who don't know. We are making it. We're making the prismatic cutter. The little super machete. This guy here. That's what we're working on. That's what we're working on. I can put all of these away, I think. Yeah, because I don't want smelting on my hammer. Boop, boop, boop. <clears throat> How do you farm echo gems? Uh, get void vaults. The vault crystals are cheap so that you can run many vaults and get many themes and then get a void theme, uh, ideally. May I ask you something about Archon? Yeah, uh, uh, the question was for Joseph. I just want to make sure that everyone was aware that Archon now, it's not in the tooltip. I need to add this tomorrow morning. But Archon reduces the durability damage taken by 30% while in Archon. So that's kind of cool. Alright, did this reset so we can get a, a final purchase of the day? See if we can get some more legendaries, maybe? Maybe some other cool stuff? I have a lot of soul shards. Maybe we can get a trinket. That would be pag. I didn't see a single void vault between level 60 and 95. Uh, <laughs> that's kind of weird. Kind of a weird flexor as well to come here and be like, actually, <laughs> actually, mm, void walls do not exist. Uh, I think it's 1 in 33 or something like that to get a void on a random crystal. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about those rates. Uh, let's burger up to 97. What level is Barry? Is he level 97? Where's my gluttony charm? Oh, it's on this character, isn't it? Yeah. 97? Okay. Let's see if we can get there. I've been watching you on Hermitcraft for years, and I have been lurking around Vault Hunt since 2. And been playing Vault Hunt 3, and I love it. I'm 47, and a mum of a 24-year-old that has his own private server, and up to 10 is amazing. Thank you, Dr. Sung. Thank you so much, sir. Sirs. You said you were a mum. I should respect that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. That's so nice to read, dude. So nice to read. I appreciate you. What's going on with Eternals? Oh no. Do we have to drop the bomb, Joseph? <laughs> Do we have to? <laughs> uh, okay, I buy those. I buy that. Pag. We re-roll. I buy this. They're removed. That's not the bomb I'm talking about. What? Am I actually out of soul shards? No. Okay, we'll save the rest. Drop the bomb, sir. Okay. You know it's gonna be bad if we don't do this now. So here we go. Ooh, I level a fireball! That's 20% more damage to fireball and more radius. I'm saving that. Alright, here we go, Joe. Here we go. Alright, here we go. You ready for this? Dylan, you ready? Here the bomb comes. We are overhauling Eternals for update 12. We was gonna skip it, but we're doing it. Okay? Enough people wanna be summoners. We're gonna let you be summoners. But, it comes with a but. Because we like big butts and we cannot lie. <laughs> um, when I say overhaul, we're gonna overhaul them. Okay, I'll just drop this now. No, I won't. They're gonna get completely overhauled. Okay? They are. That's gonna end it for today. Thank you so much for this late night stream. Stream. Short one. I gotta go. I gotta run. I gotta go get some sleep. Get up early tomorrow morning. Uh, configure the last things. Get online again. Get back on Twitch. <clears throat> and game some. And then we release update 11 tomorrow. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Thank you so much for watching, dudes. Appreciate all the support. Eli with 100 bits saying, Hi, Eskel. Happy to catch you live, finally. Thank you, sir. Uh, what's the best VOD channel out there? I think it's the... What is it called? VODSKAL... Brrr, VODSKAL85. 
That's the one. That is the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I send you over to Zombie Cleo. Uh, Zombie Cleo. Go say hello to my uh, friend, Zombie Cleo, streaming. Have a fantastic evening, day, whatever, time zone. See you guys tomorrow morning, okay? Europeans go to bed, see you tomorrow morning. See you, see you, see you, see you.